Hey guys, it's iPod Touch Hacks Girl, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch second generation on a Mac. This is the easiest way to do it so far, and I'm gonna be showing you how to do it. So first, what you're gonna do is open up your Mozilla Firefox browser and go to quickipodtouchhelp.com. And the reason for doing this is because I want you to check out quickipodtouchhelp.com. It has amazing stuff like downloads, website layouts. Still working on it, but it has donate videos, stuff like that. A lot of cool stuff. So you can check that out. I have firmwares over there. So um, yeah, go check out that website. And then what you do is download the file in the video description. And um, after you download it, you're gonna extract it. And then what you can do is put your iPod Touch into DFU mode by holding the home and the power button for 10 seconds. Then what you can do is let go of the uh, power button after the 10 seconds and continue to hold the home button. I already have it in DFU mode. So then I'm going to continue. First what you do is open up your terminal, type in CD, hit space, and drag the red snow file into the folder. It's going to go into um, command prompts. And it's going to give you this. And then what you can do is copy the code in the video description which is right here. Copy, paste, and then hit enter. And it's gonna um, run the process. And I'm gonna zoom in real quick so you can see the process. And just let it do what it does. And it's gonna like restart your uh, iPod Touch. And you don't even have to, um, actually, you don't even have to restore it. That's how easy it is. Now, while the process is running, it's going to give you this. It's going to say downloading jailbreak data. And um, you're just going to wait for the process to finish. And um, I'm going to show you the process up close. And again, while we're waiting, what you can do is go check out quickipodtouchhelp.com. Great site, go check it out. And doing some more stuff. And it's done. Now what it's doing is it's um, rebooting. And what she's gonna do is upload the city and stuff like that to the iPod Touch 2G. Sorry about that. My camera's a little shaky because I don't have a real tripod. But anyway, um, we're going to wait for the to download the jailbreak data. And what it's doing right now is uploading the city application and stuff in installer and um, stuff like that. So um, just give it a second. I already have a jailbroken before, so I'm going to have a lot of stuff on it already. Now what it's going to do is going to show you this process that it's running. I'm going to say flashing ignore. There, as you can see. Give it a second. There you go, it's rebooting. Still running the code. I mean, I'm still uh, loading or rebooting. 
Yeah, if my camera starts lagging a little bit, it's probably because I'm moving around my iPod too much and it can't take it. Just give it a second. Oh, well, while you're waiting for it to reboot, what you can do is go check out clickapptouchout.com. It's an amazing site with tons of downloads. So go check that website out. Alright, it's done. Just give it a second and it's going to show the lock screen. Let's give it one little second. Here we go. And what you can do is slide to unlock. And there you have it. Your iPod Touch is jailbroken. Remember, I already said that I already had jailbroken. So you don't have to worry about the stuff that I have. You Now you have Cydia. And now you can install stuff from Cydia and stuff like that. This is the safest jailbreak on the Mac. And it, um, safe jailbreaks really don't come that easy on Mac. So because uh, Apple does a lot of things to edit and stuff. So that's how you uh, jailbreak your iPod Touch on a Mac and stuff like that. So um, it's pretty much it. And by the way, I haven't mentioned this in the video, uh, beginning of the video, but it does not include removing music. Like if you have music and stuff, it doesn't remove the um, music and stuff. So. That's pretty much it, and one last step, what you can do if you didn't do it before, you might have forgot to, but if you haven't checked out quickipodtouchup.com yet, you can go check that website out, link in the video description. That's all YouTube, and goodbye.